Hello everyone. Welcome to our live. Tonight we're gonna do another live today. We're gonna do two live today. I'm taking up tomorrow, Sunday. So tonight I'm doing Cleopatra. So let's see what our inspiration is this morning. So we're doing unicorn this morning. Let me see another one. So we're gonna bottle this inspiration. However, I want the eyes open. I want rainbow from both sides. Put chrome around it and cloud underneath it. Sprinkle with unicorn glitters. And I want the pinky to have all color ombre with the six colors and sprinkle all with unicorn glitter too. So it's gonna be a unicorn rainbow fantasy. This is not a very good uh, inspo pick, but I can, I already get the inspo from it by look, just looking at it. <coughs> so I don't know if you do, but that is what we're doing today. Oh, by the way, <coughs> this is my second time wearing this uh, jacket. The other day, there is uh, a lady asked me, Tino, do you ever wear anything twice? Oh, uh, hello, please twice. See this? It's twice. I wear it twice. Okay, let me go ahead and connect myself. Let's see. Tino Vogue. Okay. Oh, and I gotta, I gotta pin my website too. Yep. Find a pen. So we're gonna write now today. I know that I know what you have to you must be thinking, do you know it's just a pen? Go out to the store and buy it. No. And no product in my hair today. I wake up and take a shower and just blow dry my hair and I'd be like, wait a minute. This is perfect. So today no product. Just all virgin hair. See that? All virgin. Okay. Now Let's go ahead and switch it around. Okay. Hello, Loving313. Let me go ahead and post my website. Okay, so um, the website at www.tinovo.shop. Post that. And then I will add in Kyla information. Kyla phone number is 417-772-4020. So you can call her for any assistance on shopping or uh, crystal. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. See, see how I run my brush? <laughs> see it? It's flawless. It's effortless. It's not windy, so I have to move my head like that. Whistle, it's windy today. Okay. This now now coughing coughing today um there is this lady comment this morning on one of my still levels set she said she absolutely love it but can I do more um coughing because she don't know if uh it will look good on coughing so I want to tell you that coughing is my favorite shape of all time so whenever I use stiletto it means that that is a neat stilettos. Okay, so this is going to be the face in here. Rainbow from both sides. They are nude. We're going to chew our new as cream nude. Top gel of fair skin colors today. Okay. Hi, that's Miss Girl. Hello, Michelle. Oh, my hair? Oh, yes. It is. I love textures. On the way down. Alright, I'm giving one get hi to everybody and one get bye bye to everybody. Yes, that's enough. to continue. 
Yes. I'm gonna leave it right here. Yes, it's my favorite shape. Coffin. I would chew coffin um before stiletto anytime because not like stiletto, it's not good looking. Stiletto is good looking. It just coffin is more popular. Stiletto is very popular too, just a little less in coffin. The reason reason is a lot of people like Square, Scovo back in the day, so now it's very easy for them to transition into coffin now. But stilettos is uh, still, um, they're afraid that they poke their eye out or whatever. But you you know well enough that Square now have two points on the end and Coffin on, uh, to Leto only have one point in the end, one blunt point. So if any now that will poke your eye out, I would say it's, it's Square or Coffin. But normal wear doesn't know, so they like Coffin more. <laughs> So your two sharp points right here, that's two sharp points, versus one blunt point of the stilettos. Of course, when, before we fire it, after we fire it, it's looking kind of sharp, but it'll go away in like a day. Hear this? Okay, now, we hear that, and we go ahead and take our buffer. We're gonna buff a few nails. Hi, Lizzie. Oh, he always love you. So nice. Oh, thank you. Uh, Paddy, she, she say Dustin is so nice. Hi, Kendall. Kendall say, I miss you, Dustin. Oh, just, oh, so many sweet comments. Almond is your favorite? In a different word, I would like almond more. In Russia, um, it's just that the American culture forced me to like coffin because it's popular here. Um, but if I live in Russia, I would definitely chew almond. And it is a rising trend. It starts to influence U.S. too. I do think that it's more elegant. Short, uh, medium almond, not long. Okay. So, actually... Before we buff, I want to make sure that I'm going to clean this up with Aston a little bit. I, I wonder if um, that's one time I do that and then I rub comb on and it didn't stick on. So I want to try that again. Nope, it's stick. It's not stick easily, but it still stick a little bit. See, I can just wipe it off like this, but that's mean nothing. I rather buff it to be safe. Okay, so two of these coats. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a little buff. Is a 3D and uh, clear texture is similar. It is. It is. Uh, let me see who asked that. I think that is so unique. Yes, 3D jelly and clear texture gel are very similar, except for one thing: is its cell leveling ability. Uh, 3D jelly is super cell leveling. It's uh, built for big surface, or um, it's built for uh, encapsulation because it's smooth out by itself. So anytime that you need to apply it and it's just spread out evenly, nicely, then you use 3D jelly. Now, every time that you want it to stand there, you don't want it to move. Um, clear texture gel, it doesn't have cell leveling ability. It's cell level very, very slow, like 10 times slower than 3D jelly. So anytime that you want to do embossed line and you want it to be really close together, then it's perfect to use uh, clear textures because it doesn't move. It doesn't move anywhere. So the gender it will blend in together is very, very rarely.
stiletto or ballet is what I wear. Most of my client is almond or coffin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I view almond and stiletto uh, very similar together, design wise, not shape wise. Design why almond and stiletto, I think, is uh, whatever you can do on stiletto, then you can do an almond. It's just a, uh, I think that almond, the reason it creates is to, just to make a softer look for medium wear. I've seen a couple really long almond. I'm not a big fan of like really, really long almond. If it's long, I'd rather for it to be stiletto. I like almond when it's medium. Elegant. Same with the metal finger too. Okay, so I need to write a step down, which is top gel, uh, cream nude, keep for 60 seconds, and then buff lightly. So it can be comb free. What script is that? It's 240s. Let me show you the buffer. This is clean finish buffing file. My favorite. This specific brand is my favorite. The similar looking buffers, but not really compared to her buffer. Her buffer is the best. I wish that one day I can find a place where to make file and buffer just as good as her, but I haven't found any yet. They are like the same ish, but her is special. She made it in US, that's why. Um, why am I buffing to make it chrome free? Because I don't want a chrome to stick on the surface. All right, now I'm gonna write this step down. Oh, look at this little thing, doesn't just find me. I don't know where he got it. I don't know where you will get it, but it's a flower pot. Right? Oh, it's a flower pot. It's it's for flower. It's a it's it's, it's, it's your like ornament. It's your, your ornament. Look. No, it's not your ornament. Oh, it's not. It's an antique. Sorry, guy, you cannot have it. But look, look, I have it now. Look. Sorry, I shouldn't tell you that if you couldn't have it. Um. Okay. So top gel. But one top gel cream nude. Um, here for sixty second. Now number two is using Tammy Taylor. Buffer to buff nails. Oh wait, I was planning the right to buff nail. I kind of reverse it. Um, and what else? Oh, to make it chrome free. Sometimes I just the information in my head. Sometimes it just um, it's there, but sometimes it's not in orders. Okay, now, three, number three is using art, black art gels. Art gel to draw. Okay, it's going to be easy for you today. But tonight it's not going to be easy. But this morning it's going to be. It's going to be very easy this morning. So I'm using black art gel. Oh, they love my handwriting. It just depends on the day. All right. Yeah, you never know. I have both cursive and print, and sometimes they kind of... People say, people say I write cursive, and then a second later, I write print. Okay, now, art gel. It's right here. Okay. Oh, I have new brush, finally. Oh, look at... Oh, shiny. Untouched by human. Oh, but yeah. See that? It's come out fresh from the, the factory. <laughs> well, it's handmade, but you know, just imagine it's not handmade. The smell is not handmade. It smells fresh. Okay, now. 
so I am going to draw um, the face first, okay? So I need a palette. Okay, so I'm putting art gel out. Okay, these are not for me. Twirl it around, soak it in. Yeah, I'm just weird that way. Sometimes I do cursive, sometimes I do print. Okay, oh, and I love new brush. Look how thin and sharp and nice. Perfect. Now, uh, the horn first, start at one point and, and going down. Thinly, please, very thin. Start here, going down. Okay, now, um, we're going to have six colors. I know that it's rainbow, but we're going to play with six pastelish colors. Okay. So with this horn, I want six little space. So from the top, one, down, slant it. Okay, two. And down. Landed three. I should use a, a seven millimeter for this. Okay, these seven millimeters I'm going to be using. little thing right here that are in my way some people like it but I don't like it is that if you want to keep it then you can but I'm not going to keep that since that's just one hair just depend on how you draw I don't need that little point that little extra hair I don't need that one two three four five much better. Six. And draw on one heart. So straight across, slant it down the middle. This slant it up and straight across. Okay. This one straight across and slant it down. Same thing, straight across and slant it down. Curve into a point. Curve into a point. Smooth it out. Your technique for not shaking worked perfectly. I appreciate so much for that. You're welcome, Bethany Johnson. I'm so glad that it, it's, it's Jen, the way you do it. I'm, I'm so glad it's worked for you. And hope the same for many, many other people. Because I know that it's just like a splinter in the eye. It's just like a splinter. It's irritated. Mm -hmm. The, the, the hand-drawn technique, you know. But that you don't know what to do to fix it. I mean, it, like a splinter in your hand, or something, you know, uh, you know what I'm talking about. It's it's annoying, and I'm so glad that it's finally helped. Cause it's a known problem because sometimes you just really want to crank out some simple line just to help. What you doing here? Okay, so I'm going to draw ear from this point, curve down, from this point, curve down, I have a belief, okay, same here, it's a little big for the ear, but whatever. This one, I want it to be closer to the horn. Okay. 
even now on this side. Now I want the eyes. Now I'm gonna want you the eye. I want it to be open. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill this guy. Have to chrome this and then I do the eye later. Kia, 60 seconds. Time to take care of the uh, pinky and the ring. Hi, Lashley, we're doing unicorn. We're doing unicorn faces and rainbow with chrome and unicorn glitters. I'm switching brush. Okay, so I'm gonna draw a cloud here. Okay, this is the middle of the nails. I'm going down just a little bit. To depend on how much cloud you want. Okay, from here, I'm gonna make a line straight across first, just a little bit straight across. Now curve down into a half circle. Same thing here, curve down. important that you you flat for this one because you want do want the chrome to be a little darker because everything else is light right here curve down curve down just like that one big cloud and one two sm smaller one on each side okay now rainbow so from here, I want six different spots for it. Going up and then start curving in a slanted way to here, going across. Okay. When I say go across, it's just a little bit. When I come here, I go across like this. Like this. This is what I mean when I go, uh, I say go across. Okay, so this is what I meant. I meant going straight up, slant it, and then go across, okay? This is not going across. Straight up and then slant it. You see? You see the difference? This straight up and you just slant it. This one, you slant it and then you go across. You see the difference between two shapes? Okay, one is like a bow and one is like a leaf. Okay, that's a different. So I'll go on across. Now I'm gonna add five more space for it. This is space number one right here. It's gonna be purple. I'm gonna do another one in pink. Deepen this one just a little bit more. Okay, one, two, three. Four. It's a little awkward on camera. One, two, three, four, five. That's yeah, really awkward on camera.
one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so now we have six. Let's see. Here it is. Actually, not yet. I do want to compare. So this one is about right here. Okay, now let's see. I have to make sure that it's similar. This one and about right here. Okay, same thing, six days. Oh, I get it. I get why it's awkward. It's because I like to pull from left to right and this is from right to left. I should have tell Becky to turn the hand over by then. Yes. I was like, this is really awkward this morning. Good. Cure this one. You want to get a cold coffee? Yeah, give a cold coffee. Okay, now one right here. One, that's one space in here. This one. Two, I was gonna say flipping Becky hand over. Yeah, I know why. Right? I forgot. Two. Three. And then start one, two, three, and then plan out four, five. Okay. Four. Five. And then the last one is six. Okay. Hear this? Now, here is a moment of truth. Rock, come on. All the way. So, I'm going to use these chrome colors. Oh, there's some Chinese writing in here. Hi, I see an Amelo. Ooh, I got some Asian in here. Some Asian that I don't understand. I don't understand Chinese. I'm so excited. Why am I so excited when I see another Asian that I couldn't understand? I never excited with an Asian that I'm fully understanding. Okay, now. Come on. Do it again. To make sure. Good. Erase. Come here too. International. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. United States are not our only fan. So far, the only continent that I want to target now is Asia. Um, our reputation has spread over North America, South America, even in Europe. But Asian, Asian country, um, we only get to a little bit, but not much. So um, I want to target Asia. Korea and Japan are so ahead of us. It's ridiculous. So ahead of us. Million years ahead of us. 
million years. We never catch on to it. But we can um we can pick it back the trend, you know what I mean? Like like a little fish that, you know, this little fish that follow the shark ass all the time to eat up the residues. We like that. You know, stay like that, mm -hmm. on trending and fashion. L little fish, you know, it's always it's always following the shark ass. So whenever the shark eats, it will eat the leftover. We like that in fashion. You know, Japan, Korea, even Germany, you know, all these country ahead and and we never catch on to it but 10 years later we'd be like oh rihanna wearing stiletto nails let's do it and be like hello it's been there for like 50 years do you have to wait until rihanna wear it for you to wear it in the united states um okay so now we got this okay first you have to do this first it's a white pigment base for the cloud because we're going to use pigment we don't want to color the rainbow yet because if you color the rainbow when you do the cloud, if you put pigment on it, it sticks to the rainbow. So you want to do the cloud first. Okay. The black color, which one do you use? I'm preparing this order. You need this. You need this. Mm, this is art gel. Our art gel is no white. Our art gel is chrome compatible. So that is art gel that I'm using. Now, step number four. Mm, See, it's here for 60 seconds, and then this wrap chrome on gold. On. You can use silver if you want. Number five, using pigment base. Pigment base to draw. Okay, and then cure for 60 seconds. Cure for 60 seconds. Okay, let's see. I did the iPad. Just, it's not for me. I did it. Yeah, the iPad is totally not for me. Really? They don't, don't understand me. I say chill, and they say chill. I say no, oh, chill. Chill. I say no, chill. Let's screw this. I hold it against it. Okay. I'm crushing it. Siri, me, the battle between me and Siri have gone on forever. It has been going on since the day it started. Right. Since, since the day that uh, Steve Jobs first introduced Siri. I was so excited. I go buy an iPhone just so I can use Siri. It's betraying me. She my friend of me. Because, you know, she tell me what time in the morning. So thanks for, for that. But she my friend of me. Okay. Now you can do the eye close. Okay, the eye close is uh, it just have a lashes like this. Okay, that's a lash, and with eyelash, that's the eye closing. Okay, so with this dynamic is slant all the way. Okay, and then across, and then slant again. Okay, but you can up uh, not doing it on a flat surface like this. You're doing it kind of in the slant like this. Slant across and slant again. Okay. So you kind of take this and you kind of tilt it just a little bit. Okay, a sway. So that unicorn eyes, I'm doing it open. So I'm doing two little circle for it. Uh, tell you more fantastic thing. Oh, cross? Yeah, cross at Sanchez. Uh, okay. okay, what did Siri do? Siri don't understand me, Coco Bunny. It don't understand what I say. It's like it's like I have an accent, you know. What, what accent? I don't I don't have an accent. Now, um, I am gonna draw one straight line, two straight line, another one down here, one straight line. <coughs> Two straight line. You can make it a little bigger if you want, like this. A little bigger. Okay, so like an equal sign. Okay. Down. Going down, just like this. Going down. Okay.
Okay, just like that. And then Kia for 60 seconds. Make sure you full Kia for 60 seconds. Okay, put it in. Cloud, fill in the cloud. One dot here, one dot here, one dot right here, and then the cafe edge. Same thing here. One dot right here. One dot right here. And one dot right here. Take care of the edge. I love new brushes. Pigment base. Okay, that's why you. Sway, <laughs> what is feng sway? There is no feng sway in my accent. There is no accent. I speak like an American. If people hear me on the phone, they wouldn't know that I'm Asian. They'd be like, "Who is this person? This this country accent." That's why it is. I have country accent. But Siri should be able to understand my country accent. Don't I have country accent, doesn't? I mean, don't don't you see don't you, don't you see the Wild West coming through me when you hear me speak? Absolutely. Do you, do you feel the Wild West? I'm I sound like a gunslinger. But I do that sound funny. Best to finish it off with spelling. I'm gonna run. Right. Oh, it's like swag. Oh, okay. Hi, hi, Scarlett. Put this in. The reason I wait for it because I want to hear it exactly in 60 seconds. Now we're ready for pigment. <laughs> hmm. All right, so. Paper towel out. And another paper towel for cleaning. Right here. Pigment brush. Out. Clean. Get over here. And you need blue for unicorn eye. And a tiny bit of green. I don't know why, but every time I make a video, I always kick dirt. It just, I think that, um, I think I couldn't see it very well. Every time I make a demo video, it's always kick dirt for some reason. And by the way, above surface is also resist to pigment too, so you don't have to worry about it getting on your nail bed. So I keep blending in one spot. Okay. Just to make sure that half the nails have colors, half the half of the eye have colors. Okay, now let's see, glim, little green. Does a pigment base work with any pigment? It does. Pigment base work with any pigment. Now, how well it's come out is due to that pigment. Because, um, like before, I have test a sample of glow in the dark pigment. Because, you know, if I want to have um, bright pigment, I might as well have it glow in the dark. Unfortunately, it did not come out as good as this pigment. It's powdery. It's very, it's weird. And it's light. I don't like it. 
So what? Else, however, your pigment come out. That's up to the uh, brand of pigment and the type of pigment and the location. This pigment made out from soil. It's made out from root. So it needs um, a specific ingredient in certain countries. Like India, India have amazing pigment. Pigment from India is non-compatible to everywhere else. Okay, now down here, I want um, I want purple and pink. Can you already see ish? Who uh, came in late? Wow, it's a gorgeous unicorn. Thank you. Already up with a bang. Thank you. Okay, purples and hot pink. Okay, purple first. Hey, I realize I have new people follow me every time I do live. He's great. Hi, Rina. Okay. Purple. Blend it up. Now, if you don't want to blend up like this, you can tell them to turn the hand over. Okay. You don't want to blend it up. I'm, I'm going to try to blend it up in the first finger, and then I blend it down on the second finger for you to see the difference between the struggles. And yes, this unicorn design, I'm using coffin. More usually, I use the letter for any unicorn design. This one's gonna be a little different for coffin lover. Okay, now, second hand. Becky, can you turn around for me, please? Thank you. Okay, now, see, I like this more. This flow more with my uh, my flow, my cut, uh, my my uh, pattern. Everybody have a favorite pattern. This is my favorite pattern right here. Going down or going from left to right is my natural pattern. The rest are unnatural. Going up or going from right to left are unnatural to me. Uh, so I struggle more when I do that. So in a day, you busy whatever flow with your natural current. Don't try to be an acrobat. Okay, now let's take some pink out. So, you ready to see? Interesting, Tino, uh, really work with that pigment. And isn't it? Um, this is how you pick it up. If you, if you miss my previous lesson, I cleaned this, right? Now, one thing about pigment is people love to do this. They love to dip in the pigment and slap it on the nail and move. Look at this. How can you slap it on the nail? This, you put it on a paper towel, and the reason is paper towel is porous enough that this whole your pigment, like a makeup, uh, makeup palette. But it's just a thin paper towel, so it doesn't eat your pigment. It just holds it on the surface. No dust, right? So you work it in. You work it in really smooth, but not yet, because right now your brush is full of pigment. See that? But you have to kick up the dirt, or else when you blend, the dirt going to shoot everywhere. So... You kick up excess dirt like this. So now you have a brush full of pigment and no dust. See that? No dust. Time to blend. See how beautiful and flawless? And one more thing. So let's say you want to blend it further, but you see your brush have full of pigment. If you blend it more, then they're more pink. You don't want more pink, you just want a light fade of pink. So what you do, you come over here and you take in your brush and you run it over the paper towel a few times like this. So that will reduce the amount of pigment onto your nails, onto your brush. So now you can fade confidently. Look how, how confident I'm fading. This is my confident face. Okay. See, I'm, I'm blending it and looking at the camera. Yeah. But how easy it is if you do it uh, properly. Every step has to be proper. Every step up into the point where you blend has to be proper. See the differences? Mm -hmm. No one for this too. I don't need to pick up more pigment. I can just rely on the amount of pigment I already have on my brush. 
planet Earth. See, now I am ready for colors. So this palette right here, let's clean it up. I'm putting my pigment paper up beside just in case I need it again. All right, now, Barry Chow is one of my yields. I will use cream. I will use yellow, yellow next to cream. Pink right here. Orange right here. Blue right here. And we need purple. I don't have purple Barry Chow, because not yet anyway. So I'm gonna blend blue with pink to make purples. Okay, every color, six color need to be light. So pigment base, come over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Some over here equal amount. Blue first. And then blue here. And with green, that so we're going to make mint screen. Hi, Kikaro. Hola, buenos dias, Kikaros. Okay, so I'm with an equal amount of green and blue. So it's minty. I put too much blue, so I put more green. Okay, now yellows are so. Oh, there's a little green right here. I need to take out the big cast. Yellow. What do you do? Clean the brushes. Alcohol, as stone, whatever solvent that you can get your hand on. However, I clean it only a few and far in between before I use it. I never clean after I use. After I use, I always use a gel on it to condition my brush. When I take it out, that's when I clean it with uh, alcohol, as stone. I use as stone a lot because it's fast for me. But I use a lot of stone with my art, so sometimes I just clean it really fast with as stone. You can use alcohol, you can use Clorox, or you can purchase these little brush cleaner that I have, <laughs> which is alcohol, <laughs> with some kind of condition in it, they say. Okay, now, some pink right here, too. Mm, just some pink right here. And some blue. All I make or, uh, to my fellow fairy, remember, uh, hit your heart for Tino. <gasps> Lost and found. Nails, thank you. That is so sweet. Okay, now using the engravers and mixers. Oh, by the way, I changed the name spatula and engraver. I don't think that people understand mixers, so I decide to name this spatula because it is a spatula. And then engraver, you get engravers. So, don't you mix it. Spatula. I'm using, so yeah, I'm using my spatula now. So, to stir it up. Ooh, that sounds fancy. I like it. My spatula. Okay, now I'm cleaning my spatula. And then, again, with my spatula, I'm mixing the pink. Clean my spatula again. Again, the orange mix well with the spatula. Cleanse it again. Yellow, remember to mix it well. Okay, now taking my spatula and mix the green with the blue. Make sure it's minty. Okay, now 
no, you don't want too pastel. You just don't want, don't want it to be too overwhelming to be saturated. This is not really pastel. Pastel is a little lighter. This is not pastel. Okay, now. Oh, I forgot to use this. That's messy. All right. Pigment away. I'm done with pigment just for now. So put pigment away. Now this wonderful, wonderful color that we just mixed, we're going to take the 10 millimeters, <coughs> this guy. Now that's when I clean. See, I have to gel my brush. Black. I clean a lot because it's strong. Sometimes with other colors, all I need to do is wipe it out with a paper towel. There you go. That's all I do. I didn't dip it into anything. Now, come over here. It's like Lisa Frank. Lisa Frank is a little brighter. Like she appear here. She don't. She don't uh, mix anyone into her at all. Well, as far as I know, I'm not very familiar with her anyway. I just noted from clients that because I don't grow up with Lisa Frank, I grew up in Vietnam. We don't have a lunchbox or anything like that. We just do our own art in Vietnam and sell it. So we, we don't have Lisa Frank in Vietnam. Okay, now doing thing two. I find what help is, see I clean my brush every time. Uh, I find what help is, um, you apply in the middle first, like this. Say orange. See whenever you have this, see little, little hair right here. I'm just loading it. And over time, it will stop doing that if you condition it. Like this. See, just in the middle. So you don't need to pick up more gel, but you have gel over here. You can just now use that to sketch out the details. Good morning. Good morning, uh, Mandy Bama. Okay, now yellow. I mix a little, uh, just a little bit of yellow. I hope I have enough. If not, it wouldn't be, uh, it wouldn't be a hassle to mix a little bit more. Cause it's just one color. It only make me nervous when I mix uh, more than two colors. Cause then you rem you have to remember the uh, proportion very well. But just two color is easy. Green. So you make sure I have a lot in the middles. Now. I just go over it again. I already have a lot of gel, so I don't need to pick up more gel. I just need to spread it out properly. We are, where are you located? Absolutely talented. Thank you, Kerosene. I'm in Springfield, Missouri. Springfield, Missouri. It's a very small town. It's where all the farm is. That's why I sound like a farmer, you know. It's my country accent. I know I have thick country accent. some green over here good morning Rini Tino if we don't have pigment base uh, can we mix while we're sticky no you can't um, um, if you don't have pigment base you must have a white polish um, you use that white polish if you want to make with sticky you gotta use a different white a white that doesn't have residue because if your white already have residue 
then then there's no point of mixing it with sticky because it doesn't matter anyway because the gel already have residue it's either going to be wet or dry okay if it dry then you don't need to mix with sticky if it wet again if you mix with sticky it doesn't change anything it's still going to be wet residue so you just need up to pick up your white polish and you need to test it because if you're lucky your white polish already perfect with pigment if it have dry residue meaning it's sticky but it's not wet it's not like base coat but it's wet well some base coat is not wet neither so you just have to test out with the white polish you already have okay if you're lucky then it's work perfect for you then you don't need pigment base now I am gonna cure this and I'm gonna do exactly the same on this and on the horn. Cure. Oh, thank you, Dor Doris. I'm such a good teacher. Thank you. Um, the tip of my brush doesn't hold polish like yours. It's have a tip with a lint like yeah, yes. The mess up the line I pen should I cut it up? Yes, 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 you should. It's there for some people like it. Some people like thin hairline. They never use it to paint anything else. But I, I don't use it for just thin hairline. I use it for everything. And for every kind of gel. So yes, you have to flip it out like this. Let me see. My 10 millimeters doesn't have that. Okay. So we have that with small brush. Let me see the five. Doesn't have that neither. But if it have this, what are you going to do? Um, you're going to lay it next to your fingers you're gonna look really close you're gonna put the um nipple really close to here and see okay you you don't want to put too much in because you don't want to ruin the integrity of the brush you just want to clip up just one hair so you'd rather clip not enough and go more and more rather than go too far okay so clip right here and then clip a little bit more and more and press really firm don't yank it out like this don't do that. You should press, and if it not cut it, then you try it again and press your sharp nipple. But never do this and then yank it out. Don't do that. Because the root of the brush already accounted for, if you yank it out, it's going to mess with the root. Let's see. Other question? Other question? Oh, I already... I already bent it. I just put in the lid and I didn't, uh, I wouldn't watch out for it and not be careful. I already bent it. Okay, easy fix. That's so pretty. I want them on my neck. Hi, Angelic Vampires. Purples. Pink. See, I have a lot, but I just barely touch it with the tip because if I press on it, it's gonna be, it's gonna ruin the gold line. And by the way, this step, if you are afraid of messing up and by all means, please top coat it first, so you can have a chance that you ask them to erase it. Right now, if you erase it, then it's gonna mess up the acetone. Uh, for just a filling job, it should be easy enough. It should be no problem for you to fill. However, just know that if you feel insecure, you always have the option of applying the top coat to protect it. My, I know what brand for the brushes. The brush is this brand you recognize this brand have you seen it anywhere in the market i hope so i wonder who does it huh okay now uh yellow So you put the color in first so you can have a thinner brush and you can just go around the edge without afraid that you're going to step over the edge because the brush is super thin. The head of the brush is super thin. So again, 
see. Scoop a decent amount. Now it's full of gel. Am I gonna press on it? No. I'm just laying it down. Barely touch it. Okay, good. if you press on it, it's gonna run all over the go. See that? Now come back here and just just kind of make it thinner. See that? So now you can go in here with a thin brush and you can take your time moving your gel around, make sure everything is nice and sharp. That's why when I first started it, I didn't turn flip back the hand over and the line is not really perfect, but it doesn't really matter if it's perfect because now it's your chance to to make it perfect, make it sharp. Blue. Thank you. If you press, it will spread. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's RAM. <sighs> That's one thing I can never ever do is wrap. I, I, can, I can RAM, but I cannot wrap. Uh, it doesn't sound cool when I wrap. Uh, my, my, uh, my friend told me that. My friend that wrapped really good, he told me that. He said you should never wrap, you know. He didn't say it in a mean way. He just he just sit me down and say, Tino, listen, don't rap, okay? Especially in public. And I, I kinda stunned at it at first, but but then I I, I kinda uh, accepted it. After I after he showed me the video clip that he filmed me rapping, I like, you know what? You're right. I should never do that in public. Okay, now, kill this too. All right. Now I'm going to do the horn of unicorn, which I need a smaller brush. Would be smarter. Five millimeter would do for this. This time I'm going to blue do blue all the way down you know first we have to start with blue on top now the horn we might uh flip flop it start with blue in the bottom i did not get very careful on this part right here i forgot that it's tiny which need more focus okay the movement are very similar with the line, which is going down and slam up here, slam and then going down. See that? Going down and slam this up here, slam and then going down. Pink, same thing, going down and then purple. Just do that again. Okay, and then I'm feeling pink in this heart because I love pink. It can be whatever color you choose. Oh, I'm gonna oh, pigment base the ear. I forgot about the ear. Let's stop right here and uh, do the ear. Pigment base. Uh, Tino, we learned so much from you these past couple of months. I want to say thank you for sharing your knowledge and having passion for teaching that you do. Your life has been become an E E E. What's an E E? It's my pleasure. Give Lewis an E E, like extra exclusive. An E E. I wonder what it is. An E E. Maybe like exclusive or extra or something. Explicit. Um, how do you know? Is your Tammy Taylor buffer hot or soft in the center? It's hot in the center. Uh, I, I like it hot in the centers. Uh, she have two kinds though. She have one that are soft, which is white center. And the pink one are hot, solid. I like I like the pink one. It's up to you. It's your preference. See, 
still in the middle first. And um, with this one, I should use a seven millimeter because it's a little longer and I don't have to move much. Here it is. We met in these two. Before we do that, let me see if any twinkle or anything like that. No, because they're going to be crystal right here. Matthews. So I'm going to match this. Mm -hmm. Extra, 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 extra ordinary. I love it. I love to be extra ordinary. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Louis. Extra everything. Oh, extra exotic. Oh, you just made it up. You just made it up. I want, but I wonder what Louis meant by Ian Ian. Extra exotic. I like extra exotic. Everyday essential. Ooh. I like it. I like it all. Using math to run over. So remember, light pressure and slow down when you run over. Okay. Center the nails and then flip into the machine. Same thing on here. I'm going to wipe it out on a palette. Should put it on the palette first. Cut when it uh, rub on pigment. I don't wanna when I apply on pigment. Even though it's nice and clean, I still there is still a chance that it could contaminate just a little bit, and I don't want that. Oh, I was cleaning this. That's why I get asked when I was cleaning. I forgot what I was doing. Your life are uh, like therapy. I love getting to watch you make art. Thank you. Thank you. Um, When you make design, do you apply your base color fully here? Yes. Then do you buff the shine away and then paint the design? Yes. Now, I use, uh, I use this, okay? So I buff it directly on the colors because I'm confident. However, whatever buffer you use, if it's a little rough, you, you, don't, uh, you don't buff the color itself. You put on uh, like a top coat before you buff. Why is this so stubborn to come out? Need the proper brush, or what it needs. Oh, I see the little black splash right here. That's why it's a comb stick. Okay. Here. That's one is from Michigan, you know. That's was born in um, Ben Harper or something like that in Michigan. First time watching. Oh, Crystal Acrylic. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, thank you, Christina. Christina said she liked what I do. Thank you. Do you add pigment after the chrome? Yes. Mm -hmm. Pigment doesn't stick on chrome. You can feel safe with your chrome. Good chrome is no white element. Pigment cannot stick on it. Where are you located? Springfield, Missouri is where I'm located. Uh, did you add pigment after chrome? Yeah, that's BX written as. Uh, why do you flip upside down after applying polish? Well, sometimes mm, sometime when I apply and polish, you see the surface right here is curved. Okay. So whatever liquid down here is a liquid. So it eventually will kind of drip out on the side. 
okay and it will give your side a little like um a little waistline a little, a little, a little, a little handle you know on both sides right here mm, so you can do a couple of things um you can if you wear glove you can do this or you can do this with a tool the spatula with a tool run straight down or you can just flip it over like this and chill from both sides it was centered that's it uh i i do this when let's say the gel i put is a little thick then it would take um a little bit for the thick gel to center so i'm just wiping with this with thick gel now thin gel if it thin after i wipe it it only need one or two seconds before it's have left handle again so that's why i do this what lamb is that it's pro shaker lamb how did i end up in missouri that's where i'm from that's where i'm from i have tried to leave many times i always come back it's it's like this place is it's have a hold on me it's, it's, it's i always come back here i always feel comfortable in missouri but just so you know I don't like traffic. I don't like noise. I don't like, I don't like cell phone. You know the sound that human make, like beep beep beep, or the wave. You know, it's like that constantly, and I hate it. That's why I live somewhere uh, where there's not a lot of noise. You can completely outrun it, but it it don't have a lot of noises in somewhere that are um, rural. You know, countryside. That's what. That's that's my makeup. I'm I'm not an extrovert at all. I'm a super introvert. I'm I'm very in my head. I'm I'm not really a social butterfly. The reason why I talk a lot on live is it because it's a subject that I'm very familiar about. Nail art. I'm, I know nail art, so I can talk a lot. But like, if you go lunch with me, you'll find out that I'm a very introverted person. I really don't do small talk at all. In fact, I spend most of my time being quiet. That doesn't mean that I don't have sound in my head. I, I'm, I'm doing everything in my head, designing, planning, everything like that. But I'm very quiet most of the time. I'm only loud when I'm at beauty show, at classes, anything that's nail related. Okay, now I already do the pigment so I can finally Take some uh, pigment base or uh, recommended art gel to do the line right here. Yeah, I should have you art gel because this little runny, I have to be extra careful. Here. Thank you, thank you. Isn't that? Oh, oh we're not done yet. They're not done yet because. There's no glitter yet. We're gonna use unicorn glitz. You're gonna you're gonna pass out when you see the unicorn glitz. It's so much prettier. Okay, now uh mm, let's say mm, orange. So we do orange on the two hot orange and yellow or uh purple, green and blue. Mm, I say orange and yellow. No energy little energy today remember these colors are up to you however um however like if you want to do green or blue that's up to you but the sixth color you made oh that's both are orange that's fine kill this um but the sixth color that you make please make that if you make anything else i don't guarantee beautiful result this set of makeup because of this color you want to make sure the blue is not too heavy you want to make sure the green is minty not like a leak not like this but it's too strong and leafy and neon you want it minty super minty by mixing a little blue into it and uh just a second cherry and yellow you want it to be pasty too like a daisy yellow orange you also want to mix white because without it, it's too like orangey. You know what I mean? You don't want it to be too orangey like this. You want a little white in it. Same with pink and especially purple too. So this color 
together a beautiful clean mix it exactly like this and then you have a in order whatever order you like um let's see oh and cherry asked a question what practice tip am i using mm, see it's not a practice tip see it's a press on tip and carry on with two sides This is what I carry. So uh, the tip, I carry uh, this, and it is XXXL, three X and an L. Only one side is XXXL and two shape. Coffin and stiletto. That's, that's it. I only carry them two. Oh, and I will not carry any more tip at all in my website. The only reason why I carry only XXXL and only two shape because it's beautiful. I use it a lot, so I carry it. But uh, I'm not ready to uh, dive deep into press uh, onto like gel X extension little thing yet. I only carry the tips and the um, clear silicone that here and 3D art. Set. So, uh, pack the tip. We also have practice tips, and when you do, when you practice with me, when you're doing something that you're not quite sure if you're gonna make it or not, you know, you wanna use these. These are just in one side, one shape. You can use these because these are a lot. They're like two hundred and forty for like nine dollars. So it's super cheap, and it's a lot. Um. So. You hate it. You do this because you know that you probably fail the first time and then probably the second time and the third time. So you want to use it to dispose it. Because if you use this, you have to pick out the right side, right? And if you ruin your first nail, well, you have to get out another nail. You don't want that because then you ruin the number of tip in the box. You want to use a, just a practice now, just to practice. But I'm not practicing. I'm demoing and I'm going to use that later when I'm done. So that's why I use that. So if you do press on for your client or if, you, if you're done with practice and you want to make a set to promote your page, your business, then that is when you use this tip. Because it looks beautiful. Hi, it's Anna. Um, can you tip you and client you? Absolutely, yes. Mm. But uh, again, this is not the best tip in the world. Mm, I mean, the quality is pretty good, but nothing compared to a press. That's why I don't have it as expensive as a press. I only have like, like, uh, like I think nineteen nine nine or something. Mm, it's not that really the the best, like the strongest and super flexible. It's not that I I carry it for the length and shape because it's rare, especially that coffin. I couldn't find a lot of uh, coffin tip like this at all so that's why i carry it although on the same side yes yeah, the, the practice one on the same side thank you pick and polish thank you i'm not done yet now zoom in time to do the eyelashes uh art gels please for control take out art gel using 10 millimeters actually it's smarter if i get a Seven millimeters. There, there you go. Clean it up just a little bit. Hi, hi, uh, many C. What's the unicorn? Why no stiletto? I always do stiletto. I always do stiletto with unicorn. Um, I do this coffin for coffin lovers. By all means, this look good on stiletto too. A um. I would say, uh, yeah, this looks good on stiletto too. So you can absolutely do this in stiletto. But um, I decide on a coffin unicorn for stiletto, uh, for coffin lover. Curve and then curve oppositely. Okay. Going down. Going down. Make a little curve. Okay. Act. 
two eyelashes for it. Not the way. Two eyelashes. You should do the term big ombre uh, rainbow cloud. That'd be pretty. Yes. Um, however, when I do the term for this one in the video, it will be different mainly because um, I will take the main theme of uh, what I demo and I will make a short minute video on my term so people can get the lesson of the whole set. So that's, that's the reason why sometimes it's a little weird on the term because I do that for education reason. But yes, you don't have to follow uh, the way I do the term because that's just for the videos. Okay. Little uh, eyelash here too. One, two, three. Now, after I put the, I have to put a highlight in. Right now, it looks like angry. It looks like, what you want? What you want? What you want to do? What you gonna do? It looks like that. But I'm gonna add a little highlight in here. Okay. My close eye by Unicorn, it looks so pretty. Oh. Yes, yes. Um, You can make the close eye. I just decided to keep it eye open this time just so it's people can really tell that it's a unicorn by looking at it sometimes with a close eye with so many beautiful detail around all the beautiful nails uh, sometimes viewer only um, they don't catch the unicorn face right away um, it will take them about two seconds before they catch it and I want the people to see this face in less than one second I want to capture their attention less than one second because two seconds is way too long. They will skip the video immediately. They will jump into a video and I wouldn't have enough light. All right, now, time to take some, uh, just pigment base, nothing, nothing, uh, nothing complicated, just pigment base. And use an engraver and make a little dot for it. Now it's, it look more friendly now. Let me see if I can add a little, um, a little reflection in this eye. Cure this. Oh, should I do a little nose? Yeah, I just decided to open the eye. Just, be, just because. Okay, now this one pigment base, pigment all over these colors. If you have a playful pride, you can leave it as wine go. Yes, I love wine go together. I need the wine go team soon. Yeah, you can you can pastel the color a little more so it look light and elegant yes and you can put white down here skip the glitters and then put a glitter over here on the colors oh, that's beautiful for a unicorn bride matted uh i only apply just a little bit like right here I want to make blush for it, so I use a little matted. Use an ombre brush. Here. One. Give for 10 seconds. Yes, it is. 
rosy cheeks. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add rosy cheeks to it. Okay, just 10 seconds. Now take a pink pigment. Make sure that this that's free. Now with the cheek, lightly please. Very lightly, it was, the color will start to appear. Don't be too anxious and press too hard. Okay. Mm. Lightly, please. Okay. I'm gonna do it again. Okay. Right here, I'm I'm doing it lightly, very lightly. Just to create like a softness around it. Okay, just like that. And then now I'm doing more, but only focus on the inside, so the inside look heavier. Okay. Now, so you know, is a chrome is liquid or powder is powders. Mm -hmm. I have liquid laters. Um, so, so talented, thank you for sharing. You're welcome, pin up, uh, girl. You're welcome. Try out this rainbow. Um, it's not easy for me, but it's cute. Trying out this rainbow. Oh, that's just the first time Hollywood. Keep trying, keep doing it. You using the right brush, though, and remember. Uh, you applied it first, and then you fine tune it later. Don't try to fine tune it right away. Remember that. Don't don't try to uh, paint it on the edge and make it sharp right away. You just dis distribute the color inside, and then you go back and you fine tune it. Okay, now I am matting this too. Make sure I'm done with everything. Okay. Slow down because you only want to brush through it once. Okay. These apply shine it over it. Uh, plan low shanded right here. Thank you. Very thank you. Very an uh very anna. Okay now, now I am getting these pointy brush. Apply some liquidy top coat toward it around so it become a point. Just like that. Come over here and you shine up the goal. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Right here, opposite way. I would just touch it with a tip. I pretend like it's a liner brush. Just touch it with a tip, but because it's a pointy brush, it, it look thicker at the root, so it's whole more gel. See, I haven't even picked up gel since the day I pick it up. See that? Here this. Same thing here. One, two, 
Same thing here. How many of experience do you have? You're so talented and you make it look so easy to do. Um, I have a 13 year experience and I have about two years of teaching experience. By all means, I still uh, need to learn more of teaching because teaching is way different than doing nails because it's how you break it down and how you translate it and how you grow too because some teacher don't grow, so when you don't grow, it means you don't update new technique, you know, because certain technique is hot this year, next year, it's totally like a no-no. So uh, that's what we got to do. We got to keep updating on technique every single year. And then uh, updating the way you teach. I think I'm pretty decent in teaching uh, and explaining. Siri didn't think so because I have an accent, apparently. But I think I communicated pretty decent. Isn't it? Look at that. Now, again, do I want some hair on this latest? So now, this nails right here, I have in it all white. But I think um, I think besides nail art teaching, it's also my calling. It gives me a certain feeling when I share it. It's um, like I'm proud of it. You know what I mean? Give me a certain feeling. You see people succeed. Yes. This Kia full Kia sixty second. Thank you. Samula <gasps> say and love your accent. I don't think I have an accent. I don't think I have an accent at all. What are you talking about? My English was fluent. <laughs> oh, you mean my country accent? Like my wild west accent. I know. I sound just like a cowboy. I have a wild, this like wild west vibe on me. Like when I go to a wild west bar, you know, like a country bar, like a, you know, where like cowboy and and bull riding going on. No one look at me because I blend in. I just blend right in, you now with my mesh shirt and my tassels. Okay, now. Mm, I am gonna get the color for this. I'm gonna blend these colors. So first, I need a um. What order do I want it? Blue to purples. Okay, that's why I want blue to purples. So I am doing blue first. Yes, I would like to know next chapter now. Um, this last couple of days, I'm not very good with DM. I'm just not very good with DM. These last couple of days, I will, I will get back to it. It's just the last couple of days, a little chaos. Mm -hmm. A little busy, you know, on video and uh, coffee. The cup of coffee match your outfit. Well, oh, oh, okay, I get it. That's uh, the cup. Okay, let me see. So, oh, hi, Matt. Hi, Matt. Matt is in. I didn't see it. Hi, Matt. Okay. So, blue. I do want some white. I don't want it to be too blue. And I'm just going to add in just a tiny green for now because I like be aqua blue. Huh. 
Hi, Matt. Hi, Julie. Hello. Okay. Let's see. Oh, still have a lot of dust. Okay, way, way better now. All right, blend it in all the way down. See how easy it is when it dust free? Easy and fast. Just a tiny bit inconsistent on here. For the gel, I didn't wear it long enough, but it's not very, uh, only me can see it, actually. It doesn't show through camera. Okay, this one right here. Now, uh, I need green. Again, I don't want it to be too lamb. I do want to mix a little white in here just to make it softer. Love it. Um, I'm going to work on my frilly mushroom design you did. Can wait. Yes, I love the mushroom. Strippy. Tonight, I'm going to do Cleopatra, the Queen of Egypt. I did it once before with wings. This time, I'm going to add golden uh, lion hair from both sides for her, for Cleopatra. It's a little light, which is fine for me. I don't need it to be too uh, green. A little light is fine. I'm happy with it. Oh, even though I must not forget that I'm going to add glitter on later too. All right, look green and then uh, transition into yellow right away. Clean my brush. And I thank you, Tino, for teaching me how to use pigment right in the right way. You're welcome. Coco Bunny, yes, I'm sick tonight. I'm sick tonight. I need to get that brush. I got your pigment and I've been practicing using them, but they don't come out right. I think that brush really helped. Yes. Yes, because this is a very soft bristle. I never dip any solvent, any liquid into this to clean this. I always clean it dry. The drier it is, the more beautiful it's come out. And remember, tap the dust off. Now, yellow. See now, I wrap it in so it's, it's full of pigment, see that? Tap it off. A little too light on the yellow. Let's try one with pure yellow to see. You can see previous drawing, uh, I was away for work. Oh, uh, there's no really any drawing. Oh, uh, the previous work. <clears throat> we're gonna add pick, uh, We're gonna add unicorn glitz into it. But so far we have, uh, we so far we have mean unicorn and rainbow on both sides. It's like a raging gay unicorn. Now this, I you order next. With this orange, put it out. A little bright. See a little white in it. Just to make it a little less white, less bright. Like that. Tap it out. Orange right in. And then pink and purple. Also make sure I leave enough space for it. See as long as you follow this correct step. Then when you blend, look at how easy, effortless, effortless. Uh, the next color is pink. So then again, I don't really need to clean my brush that well. Orange and pink go good together. Pink, low, just a tiny little white. At some point, I will sell white pigments separately. But people need a lot of white.
Okay. Pink and then purples. What is a powder that is super pigment? That's my name. This is super pigment. You can find it in Tinaboda shop in the color category. Okay, now. Purples. Way lighter than this. Rub it in. Tap off the dust. This is like makeup, you guys. Pigment work is like the work of makeup. You see all that makeup artists that are doing their face on uh, online? This pigment is perfect for blending. Whenever I need to blend multiple colors, I always find a way to use like my pigment because blending is heaven on this. Heaven. I guess it do need a little dark purple, isn't it? Hopefully, it's still able to adhere. Little bit. Is it my cap powder? Mm -mm. It's not shimmer at all. I have a shimmer box. I haven't used it yet. I have a shimmer box. Uh, we have all my cap powder. But uh, it's, it's not. Okay. Uh, Tino, mm, what are the rainbow made up fairy gel? Yes. I add a little bit of white into it. Just because I don't want it to be like crazy bright, like Lisa Fang bright. I want to love softness into it. Just preference, just my preference. But these colors are what make it beautiful in my opinions. It's just a soft, soft in general. Um, okay, now. If you want your glitter to be flat, then you add one coat of sticky. Oh, wait. You add one coat of sticky. Cure for 60 seconds and you dust the color on, the, the, the glitter on. You dust the glitter on so you can uh, top coat it. That's what you want. Um, now, I'm gonna sugar this. That's so I'm gonna use a different method. Shine it and sugar it on. It's slightly more high maintenance. So you can do whatever with, with top coat. So sticky, here for 60 seconds, dust the glitter on, make sure it's flat, and then boost top coat on. This one is for sugar. I will sugar so I can show you how to secure your sugar. For sugars, I always use small size. It is recommended to use small size. It's last longer. Open my uh, glitter, the is unicorn glitz. Unicorn glitz is a see through glitters. It's see through the, uh, it shows the color of the background. The color is amber. Amber have coral tone and blue base. I miss a chrome application. Did he steal his new liquid? Mm -mm. It's not arrived yet. Mm -mm. Oh, oh my God, no way. Absolutely not. Liquid chrome cannot use for detail like this. No way. Now, with this, I use powder chrome. That's why I don't understand really the purpose for the liquid chrome. Because liquid chrome, the only way you can ever apply liquid chrome with a no white surface, you apply liquid on, let it dry, and you rub it all over. Okay? With this line, if you put liquid on and rub it all over, chrome will be all over this. So that is a no no. No, it's totally fell in detailing for liquid chrome. For this detailing, it has to be powder. 
because the background will be nice and dry. Liquid on it again, everything would be chrome, which would defeat the purpose. So at this point, liquid chrome cannot quite compare with the powder chrome yet. Um, however, I'm I'm intrigued. It's exotic. It's different. It's smart. It's smart to make something different. Um, just by adding um, alcohol or whatever it is, solvent into chrome, so people don't have to dip in powder. But you see, the powder chrome that we use, that are not that are not uh, messy at all. It's completely solid. You know what I mean? People are afraid when they mess with powder chrome, it's flying everywhere. So it's a smart way to do a liquid, so you don't have to mess with flying powder. It doesn't have flying powders. Completely solid. So I will have liquid chrome, but not a lot, just a little bit. Cure this, uh, actually sugar and then cure this. Now cure this. Same thing over here. I like the way um, you information about things you are using on your nail. Oh yes, my pleasure. I, I'm very informative. I love, but now is really the only thing that uh, I'm good at. When um, when I go into the wood with this, and I couldn't hunt or fish at all. Nothing will bite my bait. I can cook. I can cook very good too. Yeah, yeah. That's a couple of things I'm good at. Yeah. Um, pigment base, you go on gel effect category. I gotta, I gotta redo that category, uh, improve it soon. Um, you go on gel effect category and pigment base is in liquid gels. Or you can just search pigment base on the search bar. Okay, from top down. All the way from the top down. I always do that. Because if you start right here, then it's gonna have a like a thick layer and then you just stack it right here and then gonna be another thick layer right here so that's why i do it from the top down so whatever far down is good and then it's slowly going all the way down see that so all the way on the top down i don't know if that makes sense or not So that is a sugar. What do you, um, oh, what do you cook that really good? Mm, there's no specific thing. I just take gourmet class before, so I understand flavor very well. I can set the two flavors. And I understand um, uh, five different flavors. Most people only understand four. Most people only, no, um, most people that doesn't dabble into gourmet cooking only familiar with four different flavors out there. Saltiness and sweetness, sourness and bitterness. But the unami flavor is actually a very complex flavor for people to get it. Mm, a lot of people use MSG, which is just a shortcut, but it's not very healthy for you. I can extract unami from uh, a lot of ingredients that I'm studying, like mushroom, cheese, soy sauce. They all have unami flavor in it. Mm, some of the Western culture that you use shortcut by using butters. Mm. You can you can extract unami flavor from natural ingredient, some healthy ingredient like plant and vegetable. You can extract unami flavor through it. Okay, now time to secure this. So you need to you a brush or super thin. Like this 10 millimeters, you need super, super thin brush. Clean this. I saw 
saw some product that say Tinovo and have designed almost like your, if it aren't not on Tinovo.shop, don't buy it. Don't buy it because a lot of company now have tried to make make my product because it's unique. It's unique product. So they want to make make it. But the ingredient, I keep my ingredient super exclusive. There's no way that they get my ingredient. I have scattered my my purchasing, not just in one uh, vendors. I, I use eight different vendors from all across. That's why to ensure that no one gonna get it. So if you get some product that are not on Tino Product Shop, I don't guarantee result. I don't guarantee uh, it would do what it's said to do because the ingredient is super exclusive. So even if you see t Tino Vo, and first up, it's not gonna be Tino Vo, it's gonna be Vo.Tino. It's always gonna be Vo.Tino. That's why we don't have um, wholesale now because we want to be in control of our inventory of our product because we can stand behind it. Now, with uh, Shanded, they are adorable. The angry don't fuck with Mr. Unicorn. Yes, yes. <laughs> the attitude unicorn. Okay. So, let us shine it. I'm going to Roll this brush in, and I'm gonna run it so it's very thin. Okay, first up is a side. So, if it's gonna chip, it will chip, it will start on the side most likely and in the free edge. Not a lot of gel. Oh, sorry, not a lot of gel, just enough. So, not a lot. So you see it clearly. Okay. Here. Tino, did you find out what happened to us? I did. I did find out um what kind of I tell her that um this doesn't do what it's promised to do. It doesn't bloom. It's still able to block pigment. It's still non scratch. Um, she said, Is there anything wrong with the um, with the uh, brilliant and uh, the shine? I said, No, still perfect. It just don't bloom, right? So she said that, uh, Well, I didn't know that you were selling it for blooming. I say I don't need to tell you everything that I do. I just give you a list of ingredients for you to make it. Okay. She she might have she might have think that there is some better top coat. So she, she I think that she didn't admit it, but I think that she snuck some better top coat on to me and thinking that I wouldn't notice. But my top coat is I, I have blooming ingredient in it. So whatever. Um I didn't argue with her any more than that because I plan to switch. I plan to um to order from someone else. But I didn't tell her yet because I still have a clear texture gel from her. So it's important to me. And pigment Bay is also from her. So um, for me to fire her, I have to have backup. So I'm finding backup right now. So I can fire her because I'm not happy with it. Um, it's, so I apologize for the uh, inconvenience. Um, so now I have to reformat. From now on, you don't use shine it for bloom. You use 3D jelly to bloom. 3D jelly and shine it is in the same family. It's just 3D jelly bloom a little slower. I guess that's a good way anyway because most people are panic when they bloom. So a slower speed, but not like not like 15 minutes slow. She, she say I test it and it's bloom after 15 minutes. I say you don't have time to wait for 15 minutes. You want to bloom now. So 3D jelly is my way of blooming now until further change are made. And she, she told me, oh, I, don't, I didn't really change the ingredient in it, but I can tell. I can tell it's something changed, I can tell. I, I told her, you know, the product that I sell, I sell it for a unique quality. So without blooming, now it's just a top coat. Sure, it can pigment block, but every top coat can pigment block. 
Now it's just a it's just a non scratch top coat. It's not like special. Like before, before it was special because it's bloom. <sighs> Whatever. Get my blood pressure on every time I mention it. Yes, Coco Bunny, my vendors. My vendor that thinks she did something great for me by giving me something that she thinks, you know, because she, this whole time, I didn't tell her my plan of what I'm selling because I really don't owe her that. I'm just give her the list and she make that for me. And she might have thought that, oh, I should give, you know, some better top coat. She might have thought that that is just a simple top coat, you know. She's like, oh, I can like, give, you know, some better top coat. But it's not that bad as, because I don't really care about its glass or its, its pigment block. I care about its bloominess. That's what's special about it. So, unfortunately, I have to announce that from now on, Shandy, it's just a non scratch top coat, unfortunately. Okay, so now. I'm going to use sand it again. Oh, I just talking about sand it. Okay, so now I'm going to use sand it again. In here, this is what I'm going to do. Remember, you have to keep it super thin. You don't want gel to mess up your glitter. Super thin. I'm going to make a crisscross pattern. Remember, super thin. So you cannot see the gel on the glitters, but you know it's there. Cause it's, the brush is wet, so you know the gel is there. You just cannot see it. Okay. This is a technique that Strosky have teach me to do pixie. To adhere pixie. Remember pixie? That Strosky have carried. Nobody knows how to secure this. So Strosky have teach me how to secure pixie. I use the same uh, method. With sugars is the net method. Here this, it's like an invisible net that cover the nail because obviously you couldn't top coat it. If you top coat, then all the glitter it will be weird, it will be lumpy, and it wouldn't be as shiny. You know, because if you want it shiny, you have to dust it on first so it's lay flat. This doesn't lay flat, so if you put top coat on it, it's just not attractive. So this is the way where you still have top coat on, but you still see the glitter. I don't mess up the glitter. This is a net method that Sorosky have used for years to encapsulate the pixies. Because if you know what I'm talking about, the little loose crystal that go on the nail, some people can keep it on forever and some nail tech put it on and it fall off the next day. Now you know why. Now you know the secret. Here's this. Just a simple secret, isn't it? I wonder why no one wanna teach, teach it. I'm so Shrosky don't teach only me. I'm sure every Shrosky ambassador out there, they teach them too. So I don't Oh, by the way, um, if you have spotted a person that announced that they sell in Strosky, okay, will you please text me? Because um, Strosky have instructed us that right now the Strosky name not allowed to be in the market up now. So if you see anyone that claim they be selling Strosky, they're faking and please. Uh, let me know because they will send Strosky police up after them. There is a Strosky police that will that will be chasing after people that um doing that. So please um let me know if anyone that announced they sell Strosky, I have to inform to Strosky that so they can go after them. That is a reason why Strosky have uh, not allowed the nail in the industry to carry their stone. Well, except for <laughs> a couple companies. But I mean, I mean, that's why Sorosky not allowed for any company to carry their stone because there's people that carry Sorosky and decide to buy a Chinese crystal and then call it Sorosky. And that have earned bad reputation for Sorosky. That's why they have made that ridiculous decision. I understand.
It's, it's frustrating. Uh, Tino, step, step, say it. Tino, tell Dustin we miss him. I will, I will, I will. Look at that. Oh my God, Mia style. The, the big refill bottle of Sanded is not the new formula. It's the old formulas. I'm just really upset with her. Um, why are you doing that net design? Um, so Matt, I want to secure the sugar, but I do not want to do this. I do not want to take my top coat and coat with this. I do not want to do that at all because if I want to top coat my glitters, then I have to use sticky and then I have to dust my glitter on so it's laid flat. This doesn't lay flat. It's sugaring. So if I put top coat on it, it'd be a huge mess. So that's why I do the net method. It's a method that Swarovski have used to secure the pixie. And so now I use it to secure my sugar. The net method is an invisible layer of net because look close, you can, don't see the net at all. See that? You have to make sure your gel is very thin. So it's laid over, like it's rapid. So that is how you secure sugar. So it lasts longer. Okay, let's see, let's see. To hold the shimmer on, yes, yes, yes. Hot tea today, honey, love it. Mm. I asked Spaniel for four bouquet, le applicate in gel, and uh, effectos. Um, I'm not sure I know how to say that in Spanish. Uh, uh, can a Spanish speaker please explain for Vela Quest, please? Um, because I... Uh, I don't know how to speak it in Spanish. That's too complex for me right now to speak in Spanish. Uh, please, um, please uh, tell me how, how to say I do that so I can keep the shine on. Cause that's why I want to say, but I don't have to say it. So, Crystal over here, Crystal over here, Crystal right here. I debating should I do something right here? Mm, I don't think so. It's good, just like this. No, we're good. All right, so this is what we're going to do for today. And tonight we're going to do Cleopatra. We need clear spire gel for that. Oh, shh. Oh, shh. That's such a good idea. Shh. Don't say anything. I haven't had clear spider gel yet. <laughs> I miss a gold part in this gel. Is it gel polish or chrome powder? It is both. Is it our gel? So I applied it so I can not hear chrome. That's what I'm going to do. What time tonight? You know, it's at uh, 6 o'clock central time. That's what I'm going to do tonight. Wow, well, I can say it looks great. Thank you. Thank you. I think Born Pretty has spider gel. Yes, yes. It's not like... It's not like crazy exclusive. Some company have it. That's why I say shh. Don't say anything. I haven't had that yet. Shh. <laughs> you said it. Um, so, uh, voy, um, uh, voy a usas el top coat and lineas pequeñas and, uh, Letters, porque no puedes poner todos en top coats um, en las uñas o el glitter no se ve bonitos. Sí, no se ve bonito. El glitter uh, 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 um, después de eh, un semanas o, o tres o cuatro días, el glitter no se uh, bonito. So, es porque um, usas el poquito uh, le, líneas de la gel, de la chandes en el glitters. Okay. Sí. I haven't tried yet, but they put it on too bad. Mm -hmm. This is pretty, thank you. 
such an adorable set. Thank you, thank you. Now add it. I have maybe where I seen it like the products. Uh, Mirad, uh, Plano, and this the Arednoso. Ooh, I'm gonna spend Semirad, Plano, and this the Arednoso. Uh, I told her already in Spanish. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you so much, Ruth. Um, pero uh, apla bien para no ser su idioma. Mm -hmm. No, what's idioma mean? Um, muchas gracias, muchas gracias. When did you first start doing nail? I do nail. Um, I was an artist before I was a nail tech. Um, I go to my mom's shop and I like, can I try to design? And they're like, no, get out, little kid, get out. So I was so mad. So like, one day I'm gonna be design better than you. So I was working at a Chinese restaurant uh, about 14 years ago. Um, I was 16, 17, 17. Uh, I was working at a Chinese restaurant and then one day my dad just uh, decided that my mom already have nail license, my dad have nail license, so they're going to open the shop. So they asked if I want to go and study. I said, sure. I just plan to do it part-time to save money for college. But by the time I'm ready for college, I will have a full book. I make above $40 per hour. That is a low bar. So at this point, I'm like, mm, I don't think I need to go to college. I think that that's the smartest decision ever because now I'm debt free. I'm not with a bunch of debt. There's so many people that we hire in the warehouse. They have like doctorate <laughs> and have like many, many hours into school. So I'm glad that I didn't. I, I, I didn't go to school because now I will have debt and I don't like debt. And you, you never know. I I might do it way better now as a fine art artist, but I don't know. Or I might not. I might not use a license at all. So I'm just thinking that this is a smart decision of me not go to college. Because now I'm doing just fine. Um... Thank you for this lovely session. You know, you're welcome. If you did um, go to college, what would you have to study? I will study fine art. Mm. I study fine art because I guess I'm just good at art. Uh, people say I'm good at art, so automatically I think, well, fine art might be for me. But honestly, I do like psychology, human psychology. Mm, if I and, and it's not over for me yet if I go to school if I decide to go to school one of these days which I might I will study human psychology mm, because growing up I have witnessed many people and as even my client they all have issue they all have fuck up issue I learn a lot from them I learn a lot from good people and I learn a lot from mess up people However, I still require more education in human psychology because I want to use it to help people. Mm, either that or massage. I know it sounds so cliche. I'm Asian and like massage. But I like to study massage. I like to study about med medical massage, you know, how to fix the body. I like to study herbology, you know, study different plants, different herbs because our pharmacy industry have corrupted so many people that's why i don't like to go to the doctor because every time you go to the doctor they shove you with pill and you become addicted to the pill i have a friend she say she said to me that she you adderall and i say you're clearly addicted and you know what she said to me she said i have been you adderall for 15 years i'm not addicted <sighs> oh of course you're not um so that's why i want to study up large so i because most of our um Medicine is come from herbs, come from natural ingredient, but to the uh, process of electric and fire, it has great horrible side effects. So I want to use my knowledge of earth, my knowledge of the body, and my knowledge of human psychology to, to help people, to make people happier. Mm, that was monk do all the time. I have the mm, mm, pleasure to meet a few monk. They have passed now quite a bit for me. Uh, but the more I learn, the better I get. And I'm not done learning. I want to learn. Uh, my my um, 
my dream, my dream dream is to become a healer. I want to become a healer. That's why I want to study up the body and the mind because I want to heal. Uh, but a lot of people I know are messed up and they, they don't know the way out. Is that why you married an old man? <laughs> no, they, they doesn't know the way out. Um, even people older than me, the older we get, the more um, you see my concept of us is, is we have two sides. One side is our real self, and it's usually a kid side, kid-like, you know. When we are a kid, we are honest with ourselves right but the older we get the more we have to hit fit in with society especially since the day that we uh develop puberty that's when we start to you know, our fashion have changed the way we talk have changed because all these cool kids we have to like fit into the rest right so that if we develop a persona so the older we get the more heavy our persona become um, it's like a character. It's like playing a character in a movie. Like, oh, you're the mother. You're, you're a mother. You are a nurse. Uh, your job is to feed the children every day. Um, mm, you're supposed to do that. You're supposed to do this. That is your persona. That is a role that you play in life. But you see, when people play that role for such a long time, they forgot that they can take off that heavy coat of personality and be the kid self, but you see, we are only our kid self now today when we all, we only our kid self when we are absolutely alone, not even with our close like loved one, not even with the children, Just never our kid self until you're completely, absolutely alone. So um, monk have taught that a way for you meditate is when you are taking off that coat you can put it back on when you're out in public. But when you're alone, you have to take off that coat because so many people um, wearing that heavy coat so much, it makes them depressed. It makes them feel trapped. It makes them don't recognize themselves anymore. They feel lost. They don't feel like they are the same like back in the old day. Um, they feel old. And it's not because of that. It's because they have they are heavy because they character, their persona are heavy. So what I want to teach is to teach people how to take up that coat. It's a lot harder than it sounds to take up that coat of persona. So for me to be a kid again is actually more difficult than it sounds. And that my mission is to teach people that because people don't want to be a kid. They, they are the adult they are appropriate. All, all of this little persona, so the public can accept them, they cannot run around like a little kid. That will make them amateur. That will make them inappropriate. But you see, that just make them people depressed and depressed as the day go by and one day they just die. And more people, you know, they get that and they have no idea. It's too lost, heavy. I just want to give up on everything. And that is a way that the monk have taught me is how to find back your authentic self because when you with authentic self, you can breathe for the first time in life. Ah, that's just the society you live in. It's just all of that, all the social media and all that. It just, um, it's trap us basically. It's fun and it's trapping. So depression is what I want to target. And a lot of people have mild depression that and you cannot take depression um, lightly. Depression is very serious. It's a real problem. It's a problem that a lot of my friends have. So that is my mission. Oh, where were I going? Oh, people ask what I want to go to college for. Oh, I want yeah. to oh, go to college for. Art is something I'm, I'm already... I do art. I do art since I was a little kid. So I shouldn't go to college for art. I should go to college for something that I really want to do. Um, to help people. Art is natural to me. Mm. I want to live on your island when you get it, Tino. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You are right, love in 313. Mm -hmm. 
no Matt. Matt say, why doesn't he slacking and not here today? No, that's when he's still working on the house. He's in the mission, defending the house. So you, you sticking with me for a while, but I think it's better because it's forced me to look at the screen more. And frankly, I'm looking at word very fast. I can look at word very fast and I can answer very fast. I think that is great. Sometimes you need to understand plug. Very important to sell love, absolutely. But you see, not most people don't know how to sell love. They don't have, oh, my friend, I have this friend that I straightly asked her, I said, what made you happy? And she said, I need a Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> I, need, I need some Gucci and, you know, like the Lamborghini. I said, no, no, honey, that doesn't make you happy. That's make you proud. You need that so you can show up to your friend. You you need that for your friend, not for you. That Lamborghini is just a piece of metal that you try around. Louis Vuitton purse that's all fabric, that's all leathers. That doesn't truly make you happy. It make your friend impressed with you. It feeds your ego and you think that you're happy, but then that's something else missing so you go ahead and buy more and buy more and you keep buying but it's never fulfilled that spot it because you get in it for the people that surrounded you but what truly make you happy you have to dig deep like what make me happy food make me happy music does too art make me happy solitude does make me happy too sometimes i need my own space alone you know sometimes mm, now, fashion does make me happy in a weird way. Cause I, you know, obviously, I don't dress for the public. I dress for myself. Cause it's weird. It's unique. So, in order to know what makes you happy, you really have to do some self-reflection. It's not that simple. A lot of people think, oh, I know what makes you happy. No, you don't. No, you don't. People does not know what makes them truly happy. They live in a society of all the expectation Especially, I have this friend, she introduced to the world that she is wealthy, right? Because she has a sugar daddy. So guess what happened when she lose the sugar daddy? She still have to be wealthy. <laughs> Exhausting. Just to hear them cry about it. I have learned so much. That's why I want to follow human psychology, because I think that's a powerful tool to help people break the pattern to be free, you know, for the first time. Uh, love so much, make a from Brazil. Oh, thank you, if you add your enough. I'm a designer, depend on people like that. Exactly, exactly. I love food and art mostly, yes. Uh, now, I don't know, between art and food, I don't know. Hmm. Which one is more important to me, food? Oh, art. I don't know. I don't know which one. I would say art because <laughs> I see you just sit and starve to death. Oh, and yes. So that's art. Art oh. is more important <laughs> because I did stop myself before doing art. Yeah. Cooking show, mm, not yet. Later. First, you're going to see me eat. I want I want to do one of the things. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but people eat. Online, I'm very good at doing that. I make sure that I really often go when I do that too. Okay, okay, I think we're done here. I think we're done here. Okay, okay. Thank you. People don't like um, or don't want to hear the kind of truth though. It's hard to have relationship with people because they go lose time. They, they go to life just on the surface they don't want to go deeper right and you know if a person that are okay with going to life on the surface that's fine i only want to help them if they are not okay you know what i mean because whatever face you put on in the public that's different my client been with me for more than 10 years the type of conversation that we have in the first day are way different than the type of that conversation we have 10 years later. When you've been with someone that long, you no longer pretend. 
You know what I mean? I've been with some clients. The first day, they all go in all nice and classy. And then, like, three years later, they walk in with the pajama because she don't care. They're comfortable. So when you're comfortable, then you hear comfortable conversation. So sometimes they bring out the emptiness. So I only want to help them if they're not happy where they are. But if they're happy where they are, sure. I don't want to, I don't want to like, fix them. They don't need to be fixed. Mm. Why, mm, why do people like to hear people eat and smack their food? It's a sound. It's a sound. It's an addiction. It is a very huge addiction. I, I don't know. I love to watch it too. I don't know. It's addicted to me. And this channel, when they have all this sound, like, like they have this mic, what they do, all this sound, like, Oh, I'm so good at that too. I want to do that. I want to do that too. There's so many things I want to do. I've been able to really teach you about relationship and therapy. Absolutely. Absolutely, because they have nowhere else to go. They only have you. They have you and they feel safe with you. That they feel like they feel like you're a robot and you just um you you you're not human. You know, you're a robot and you're not going to have uh, judgment and um, thought about them, opinion about them. Of course you do, you're human. <laughs> the, the thing that people tell me are ridiculous. <laughs> Say, of course. Okay, anyway. Like, okay, so. I'm going to be back on in 6 p.m. tonight, okay? So set your alarm. I'm going to be out of here. I have to make my video and have an appointment to get to so I can come back in time and do more live. All right, everyone. Have a wonderful day. I will see you this evening. Bye-bye.